Kuranganui e tu i honei ko papatua nuku e takapone. Nature binds us together. No matter where we are in the world, the sky stands above us and the land lays below us. Ko kiri Nathan tōku ingoa, ko nga pui ngā te hene, nga te marume, nga te haua o ku iwi. So my name is Kiri Nathan and I hail from those four tribes. The mission in brief was that we revise what we've been wearing as our graduation garbs since the 12th century. The current garb originated from the Roman Catholic Church and was created for the clerks who were learning in very cold and unheated churches hence the full-length gown and the hood. We wanted to take a really refreshing and new look and approach to this and really represent our unique New Zealand education. Inspiration of nature. The intangibles of the journey, yeah. like the sense yeah. of feeling. Culture. Feeling. Yeah. We want drama as well. <laughs> For us, as a New Zealand-based design team, and also majority Māori, we were trying to look at this graduation garb in a way that it would represent all the people that chose a New Zealand education, and also really celebrate our unique offering here in New Zealand. The tie was everything in Aotearoa, and that's such a Māori design principle where the tie reflects us. Students who have come from all over, and we're bound on this one day of graduating, just like water binds us. Timoana Nui Akiwa and the awa throughout Aotearoa. It's the misty blues of the water and the stones, the reflection of the sky to the sea. We really wanted to develop what our inspiration was. We talked about water, the fluidity of it, and it's also the thing that connects our island to the rest of the world. I went out and sourced textile waste that has been salvaged from the hospitality industry, so things like tablecloths and sheets from hotels. So it's a completely sustainable process. Kia ora te whānau, no mai hara mai ki tēnei, tui tapa. We're so excited to kick it with you. Student input into this particular design development was huge. When you imagine yourselves walking across that stage to receive your tohu in front of your peers, in front of your whānau, what does that mean to you? So the interaction with the international students was done via interviews and really deep thought around what was uniquely important to them as individuals. It's just completely an interest to do something innovative. It's totally a creative project and everybody involved in this has put in so much love. All the design details and the embroidery and the pleating, it's very refreshing. It's authentic, but it's very unique. Pretty much all are from different cultures and different countries, but you know, working together as Kiwi students, you know. It's really about enabling other Tonga from our different cultures to be seen a little bit more. We spoke to eight different international students about what was important to them and then we broke those down into colourways and then we implemented them into specific kākahu that represented them as individuals from their countries, their whānau, their origins and what it felt like for them to be here in New Zealand being educated. Kia ora and welcome everyone. We reimagined our traditions and we took a new look at one of the most enduring symbols of education the graduation gown. We drew inspiration from the nature of Aotearoa, te ao Māori, and our shared values when we think about an education in New Zealand. Kaitiakitanga, Manakitanga, me Māui Pōtiki. And we'd love to present to you the new graduation gowns, Ngā Kākahu Hau. It was a very natural process for us as the design team to weave the values of Manakitanga, Kaitiakitanga and Maui Pōtiki into the garb. So good. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's like made for you. Yeah. 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 Receiving this gown to me represents the love and respect that New Zealand has for its students. 
It's an extension of the hospitality and the friendliness of everyone in New Zealand that has welcomed me all these years. Manakitanga is all about how we care for people. This value was integrated into the new kākahu via the woven element. And it also spoke to the weaving together of cultures when they come here. Kaitiakitanga is about guardianship and protection, specifically of people and planet. All of the fabric has a sustainable origin. Then they were sustainably dyed and then hand-woven and made into the final garb. Here in New Zealand, I appreciate the respect that people have for the land around them. And that ties in really beautifully with what's been done here with the kākahu today. <laughs> Maui Pōtiki represents this mischievous, adventurous kind of ahua or, or spirit. We're really representing that Maui Pōtiki through this new thinking and ways of developing things that are unique to New Zealand. The Pōtama design being represented in this way within the kākahu, that can only be done in New Zealand. The Pōtama pattern is like my journey in New Zealand. All the steps that I've taken so far and all the steps that I will take in the future to achieve my goal. I felt the connection between my Chinese culture with my whole experience here in New Zealand. New Zealand is putting all eyes into new things, how to think ahead for next generations. And this is the gun for next generations. In Vietnamese culture, red means luck. This is my lucky gown, and I hope to take that luck with me into my future. I'm so proud to wear the gown as a symbol of my time in New Zealand. <laughs>